So, went to Harbor Freight today to buy one thing and bought a lot of things. So, this is the new Atlas 80 volt self propel mower that they just started offering. So, there's not many videos on it, so I figured since I bought it, we needed a mower. I'll open it up and show you guys what comes in the box. When you get the mower, it's just the mower, no batteries. So, the battery is 110 bucks. The basic charger is about 40 bucks. They got a better charger, but the better charger is like $60. And we only got one more, so this one's fine. Already got a weed whacker, Ryobi. Might be upgrading to their, if this works, we'll upgrade to the Ryobi weed whacker. And this one I really went in for, just batteries. So, let's see what's in the box. So, cardboard nice and thick. Oh, it looks beef. So, we've got instructions. Let's see what they look like. Let's see if they actually, uh, I'm afraid it's been doing better. These actually look good instructions. Good 3D printing and 3D imaging. But they look nice. Good English. All the parts that comes with. So, the bag. Eh. It's not Troy built quality, but it's decent. It should do for us. The bag doesn't have the dust screen on it, like some of the better mowers. But what do you expect for 100 bucks less than the next competition? So, the mower itself. She is kind of chunky. So that holds the wheels in. That holds the wheels in. A little popping paper. Shoots a little bit. Ah, oh, we got zip ties. This one comes out. This one comes out. I think we can get it out now. I think. So it says it weighs 68 pounds. But We'll see about that. She's really never hit it. She weighs about 68 pounds. It's less than our last gas mower, the Husqvarna. That thing weighed about 100 pounds. Um, rubber flaps kind of not the best quality, but I'm going to say it's cheaper than the competition of what we've been looking at. Out of the Ryobi and Black Decker, all that good stuff. So I figured we'd give it a try. So these pull and turn, pull and turn. That comes up. That comes up. And we're seeing this just as you've ever seen it. So it is a true unboxing, not a take it apart and put it back together later boxing. And no, I didn't read any instructions. One handle. Second handle. I do like how the actual nut is not holding up. You've got a little bushing around here. So the nut's not holding it up. So that's a little bit better than some of the old ones where the nut itself was riding directly on the handlebars. So or your load was going in that nut and wearing them out, so you got bushings in there. That's a little bit better quality. That's something that should last longer. These are nice, they feel like good plastic. Pop those back in. And it is high 
guess it doesn't get this is the same as you got max so that's all the way up middle so it's got a height for every user so that's good so given that we're not the tallest we're not the shortest folks the middle setting should do for our family given that your videographer will be the one probably using it oh, i think i messed up guys my cords but they're fine i'm just going to clip those there Got one handle height adjustment, and so it doesn't have a lot of height settings. We got one, two, we got seven height adjustments. So far as what I think it's like a inch and a quarter. Let me see real quick. That is going to be from one and one eighth. So this will work for people down south that have Bermuda grasses and other low grasses up to three and three quarters. So for your Kentucky blues and your other tall fescues and longer leaf grasses, you get a nice layover. It does have a nice, the rubber flap is not the best, but it's, it's doable. It gets a job done. It is just, uh, just a piece of rubber. It's not weighted. There's no bead roll on it. This is your mulching block off. So it comes with the mulching plate. Not the, I had better out of Craftsman. Old Craftsman, not new Craftsman. Um, this whole rear assembly, all of this is plastic. So, your deck itself is steel, and that's how thin your steel is. You've got maybe a 11 gauge ish steel, probably thinner, and all this is plastic. So, your all diaphragm, your deflectors, it's all plastic. That pops in, that holds nicely, then your gate holds it shut. The gate itself, uh, I mean, this will last you a couple of years, not a long not a long time, but it seems decent. So it's supposed to have a brushless motor, supposedly. Our battery tray. Let's go over here and see what's in the battery tray. I mean, it feels like decent plastic. Ah, safety set off. So, if you got extra small people or somebody you don't want messing with it, take your key out. Can't use it without a key. Or if you live in an area where someone might borrow your lawnmower without telling you. Take the key, they can't use it. So it just might come back, or you might find it sitting on the side of the road after someone borrowed it from you. It's got a little pin to help keep it in, retainer, but of course, if it take it out, they can't use it. Let's see about these batteries. Oh, and that can take two batteries at once. It doesn't give you your 80 volts. Your 80 volts come from the battery. It's kind of like the Waltz flex bolt system. There's software built into the battery. Let's see what's in here. Let's try not to cut the battery. One thing. And this thing is kind of heavy. Hopefully there's some juice already in it. We can give it a little test scooch. How much volts does it does it take? It is 80 volts. The mower is 80 volts, but the battery pack is a flex full, so it can go from, ooh, that feels nice, it can go from 80 to 40, if necessary. Can you really get this plastic on your tank? And it's rubberized, that's why it won't come off easy. Ah, so that's all rubber. The base has a rubber boot on it, and we have, and I did mark it with a knife, comes with a little bit of juice in it, so we might be able to see what it does, even though you're not supposed to run it in the house. So these are the way our battery sits in. Juice. Let's see what So she's taped shut now. Sounds like one of the kids. Ooh. And unlike some of your other sub pro mowers, where it's like you're always locked in gear and you can't free roll the lawnmower, this moves freely. Yes, I'm in the house, but it's in the outside. So this one is your ignition. 
If you've ever had an electric blowing mower, you know how these work. You press your button first, then you engage the blade. And it is load sensing. So probably later on we'll do a mowing video for you guys. But for now, see you later.